Welcome, this is item number 33 uh, from the spring 2014 test release items for 7th grade TCAP math. Now, they kind of ended and began in the same spot. Another sort of order of operations question. The beauty of an order of operations question is if you have access to a calculator, it's actually really easy to do. If you don't, maybe a little bit more complicated, but we'll do that in just a minute. First things first, I'm going to get the calculator people done and out of here. So the calculator, pretty much any calculator that you get, already, uh, uh, you know, sort of subscribes to the idea that they should be doing order of operations. Otherwise, the calculator is messed up. So just to make sure you have everything in the order that you need to. If you have one that does fractions, more the better. So 2.25. Um, if you do not have one that does fractions, I would suggest you put... So if I had minus one third here, I would put parentheses one divided by three. But mine does one, so why wouldn't I just use the creator of fractions to do it? And then times six over seven. Mine's in over D, most of them have one, even graphing calculators have, most of the graphing calculators have, the T84 plus does. Uh, so just type it all in, hit enter, and you get a final answer of this. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? I'm going to convert it into a fraction. So I'll hit second. This little arrow pointing to F, arrow pointing to D means it'll switch from one fraction, either fraction to decimal or decimal to fraction. Hit enter, and it gives me 1 and 10 sixty thirds. So my answer to this question is this. Now what happens if you don't have one? Uh, not much fun, that's for sure but we can still do it. Uh, the way that it'll be done is I'll just convert everything to fractions because most of, 1 divided by 3 gives you 0 0.3 repeating and I don't want to work with those numbers. I want to work with numbers that I can deal with. So 3 and 0.25 is 3 and 1 fourth because there's 25 cents with 1 quarter and there's 4 and a dollar. I'll go ahead and convert that into a improper fraction. 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 gives me 13 over 4. Divided by 225 would be 2 and 1 fourth, which would be 9 fourths. Minus 1 third times 6 over 7. Now, order of operations, PEMDAS, whatever, the thing that people tend to forget is that multiply and divide are not, multiply is not better than divide. They're the same level of power. You just do whatever comes first left to right. And in this case, it would be a division. So I need to work with 13 over 4 divided by 9 over 4. And to do a division of fractions, I'm going to use keep it, flip it, switch it. Keep the first one. So flip the second fraction. Switch it two times. And the beauty of this is they both have the same or they have this in the numerator and denominator, so you can just cancel it out, and end up with 13 ninths. Minus, and I can go ahead and do the 1 third times 6 over 7, uh, and just write that answer down, so I get 6 over 21. From this point, it comes a little bit more complicated, because you have to start thinking about, okay, well, you know, what am I going to use as my... Um, common denominator and I would just do 21 a bunch of times so it helps if you know your um, multiples so 21 again up oh, 63 is a multiple of 21 I know that 9 times 7 is 63 so that's what I'm gonna do times 3 times 3 so it becomes 18 over 63 times 7 times 7 I don't know off the top of my head what this is. Ninety-one sixty-thirds. Do a little bit of subtraction. Seventy-three. And if I need to convert it into a mixed number, sixty-three goes into it one time with ten left over. So the answer to this one is A. So either way, you have to do it. It's very simple. There's no trick to it or anything. You just have to remember um, that order of operations does exist. I did need to do the division first. I needed to deal with this multiplication before I dealt with the subtraction. And the nice thing is they tended to 
put things in a way that you would do that anyway, but sometimes they don't, so just be careful that if you're not using calculator that already does order of operations for you, that you're not missing it because of some minor mistake, like, you know, division comes before multiply, and you think that, you know, that's not possible, but it is. So that's it.